So what we have here on the screen right now is a list. A list of all the least known upgrades in BD6, or in other words, uh, the least known upgrade names, according to a quiz. Yeah, so this is inspired by the BT6 quiz I took on my second channel. Check that out if you haven't already, where I basically did a quiz to see how many upgrades I remember in this game. And I end up getting, uh... Actually, I won't tell you. Uh, you can watch the video to find out. But some of you in the comments suggested this, and I thought it was a good idea, so let's do it. Now, these are the upgrades, not that I forgot, but people in general forgot. So let me just pop it down on the screen and show you the results of that quiz and the uh, least known. So I basically took the upgrades from least known 11% from the Monkey Ace to 25%, which encompasses about, I don't know, 30 upgrades or so. And this was taken before I made the video and thus uh, changed the results because uh, I checked afterwards. And uh, yeah, it turns out my videos really got a lot of people to do the quiz and... Uh, completely alter the results you can see the percentages and the upgrades are also a good amount of difference so i really could have done either before or after upgrades that were least known i just decided on the before because i felt like the tower set was a slightly more interesting if you take a look it's well unsurprisingly a lot of low tier upgrades the only high tier is poakai bottom path beast there's like a couple of tier three sprinkled in as well but Overall, it does look like if I just stick to this rule set, uh, we're gonna end up spamming Ball and Path Beast in the end. So I feel like, to, for, you know, for fun challenge, we will not use Beast. But yeah, let's go over these forgotten upgrades, shall we? So first off, Banana Farm. Yes, people forgot Increased Production and Banana Salvage, the uh, 102. I guess I'm okay with throwing in some light spoilers, but yeah, I didn't get Banana Salvage either. A lot of things like I use nicknames for which is the reason why I end up forgetting. I'm like, yeah, guys, can you believe it? I've been playing this game, well, as my job, but I don't know every upgrade in the game. Yeah, I can't believe it either. I'll leave a link to that quiz if you do want to do it and you have not seen it yet. I'm quite surprised at the amount of people who actually enjoyed that kind of video. That's why I put it out on the um, second channel, because I didn't know, well, how it would be received. And frankly, I think it, I think it fits that second channel better. Just because I wasn't sure uh, how much people would enjoy just me staring at a screen, typing upgrades for 40 minutes straight, but I guess I underestimated the enjoyability of that. Note, I will still put future quizzes I do on the second channel though, so make sure to subscribe and get Ice of Extras uh, to that play button threshold. Because yeah, silver would be pretty nice. Also, I know this is not like good strategy wise, but I am also going to drop all the upgrades down just so it. Uh, in case, you know, you get quizzed on this sometime, sometime down the road, you want to impress your uh, girlfriend or something. Trust me, chicks dig when you know every upgrade in balloons. Uh, so, super range tax. Apparently, people forgot. And extra range. I'm not surprised, uh, like, it's hard to memorize the exact names of range upgrades and attack speed upgrades when uh, a lot of them are basically synonyms of each other. So, you just kind of fit the, uh, the word that somehow ends up matching the tower. And yeah, I didn't think of extra range for the bomb shooter. Uh, what else is there? We have Druid. Which Druid did I forget? Or did people forget? Druidic Reach. I forgot this one initially, but, you know, upon going back, giving myself a second chance, I ended up remembering it, so... Pat myself on the back. But yeah, people also forgot Druid of Wrath. Hmm. What else is there? Spike Factory? Yep. Did people forget bigger stacks? Yes, they did. I also forgot it. A lot of times you think to yourself after the fact, damn, how did I miss this upgrade? It was like... I, I've, I probably would have known it on nine days out of ten, but it just slipped my mind for that one day. That's um where I would classify the sniper, or at least me to the sniper that day, because yeah, I should have known Full Metal Jacket, but I didn't. People apparently don't know a large caliber. Now I will say the results actually might be a little bit skewed because you have to keep in mind that not everybody like will have the determination to. Uh, complete the full quiz. I noticed, like, the lower percentages uh, all belong to, like, support slash magic towers, and uh, I guess that makes sense, because if people quit the quiz midway, they'll do, like, Dark Monkey first. Uh, they'll they'll, they'll want to go in order. So I guess that's why when you search by the most percentage correct, pretty much all of them belong to, like, the Dark Monkey. Or if not Dark Monkey, then still the uh, primary, which, yeah, that makes sense. So that's uh, not really a true way to reliably know it what the least known upgrades are, but this is, I would say, close enough, so what else? A stronger glue, yeah, these towers are absolutely not it in terms of actually defending, but I need to drop one of each just to uh, 
get it through. So twin guns, I don't know how many people didn't get that. But they just didn't. Ballistic Missile, too. So the Mortar is next. We'll put it on the damage tile. So they forgot Heavy Shells and Shell Shock and Increased Accuracy. Heavy Shells is honestly worth getting even for the late game. Because it can stun the Super Srams. Uh, let's see now if we can beat round 40 here. Yep. Plus one damage Mortar OP. So what do we have for the Wizard? 201 Arcane Blast and Intense Magic. Now if you think about strategy here, I think Ninja... That's a good one. Counter Espionage for the D-Camo. I'm pretty sure I looked at all the options. That is the only D-Camo in this game, so... We might have to resort to just spamming a bunch of 0 0 Ninjas to... Beat certain rounds. Uh, camo... Oh, right. Camo Leads. There's no Lead Popping, but I think the Alchemist allows us to... Uh, be able to pop Camo Leads. Just do this to AMD the... Uh, Counter Espionage and thus D-Camo those Camo Leads. That's the only way. I think. And it seems the general population forgot the unstable little co concoction somehow. I bet a lot of people didn't back in the day when uh, it was widely known as Unstable Cock, but not a lot of people uh, kept that tradition, I guess. So uh, let's just upgrade the spike all the way to uh, Mop Shredder. And yeah, this is an embarrassing one, all right? At least for me. But hey, the general population forgot this too. The Discount Villages. <laughs> Again, I only call them disc the Double Discount. Just the easy way of calling them. But it's Monkey Business and Monkey Commerce. Keep that in mind. And now for NG, what did people forget? 221. Faster engineering. I somehow forgot that one. Deconstruction and then oversized uh, over oversized nails. For Beast Handle, people forgot Adasaurus, uh, Jur Falcon, and uh, pretty much all the bottom path, which I guess I'm not sure if that's surprising. I feel like people would remember the upgrades of the newest tower, but perhaps it's uh because of, you know, the Beast Handle being last, so people just don't do it. So what else am I missing? I'm missing Monkey Ace. Lots more darts. People did not get, and lastly, focus firing darling gun. And then with that, we have officially dropped every tarot in the field. So now we can actually do some strategy. First off, we gotta fill in the uh, all the water with subs. And let's see. Do you think we could? You, we could, you could definitely use some more ninjas. Yeah, I think you can fit four or yeah, four ninjas in this square over here. I'm not sure that's enough camp on for though. So let's do another. Um, Alchemist. Also, I could do this. And now, here come the Camelettes. Let's see if two Alchemists can get them all. Nice. Again, let me sell the towers that I don't think are very useful. So, you, 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 and you. And what could I fill the... I feel like 2 zero, zero uh, snipers are uh, likely one of the more efficient things to, uh, you know, utilize your space with. So, uh, sure. I'll make sure to put it under the range buff icon so uh, we can get 10% range to... Uh, our infinite range on the snipers. Uh, the thing with 1, 2, 3, 2 is that with the force categories, I kind of have to uh, just, I think, drop bad towers anyway. So, like, the primary, I'm pretty sure I checked, they're all, like, crummy tier 0s or uh, tier 1s, tier 2s. Two I'm pretty sure the best would be just glue. Yeah, let's just go pure utility here. I like that I just forced us to use upgrades. Otherwise, we would have just spammed, you know, tier 3s across the map. All the good ones. Now for magic, do you feel like we have enough ninjas yet? I would say no. Once we get to DDT, is assume we get that far. I think uh, it may not be enough, so we'll do another. Oh, these farms are actually eating up uh, one extra space. I'll, I'll deal with that later. I'm not sure if uh, I drew the wrath. It's more DPS, but I think we'll go utility with these guys. And again, the damage will just be snipers and I guess shell shock for uh, the uh, stuns. Uh, hold up, round 76 alert. This might be Riga Farm. Or are we Gucci? It'll take a while, but... Okay, we dealt the Riga Farm. I think having more snipers would be good. Uh, the Camel Wave on 78 might be scary. Again, the the, the two Pierce Ninjas might be not, be, not might not be enough, so come on. Spike Factory. Uh, kind of espionage. Alright, I'll take that. Uh, hold up, we might be having a Riga Farm right now. Let's see if I can quickly spam more snipers. Uh, they don't quite one-shot rainbows, but if we pop them enough of them down to reds, uh, maybe there's a chance. Uh, nope, I'm gonna need to get some more DPS here. Okay, let's do two shell shocks and uh, honestly, uh, spam more snipers. They should all be on strong. Okay, I don't know about you, but ho looks like we're holding strong at least a little bit better. I feel like it's slowly pushing back, though. More shell shocks, maybe? Yeah, again, I looked over everything. There's no DE regrow, but we did it. 
We held off the Rigor, the scary Rigor Rainbows. You know, it's time to put some respect on these towers here. Because nobody knows them, but they're actually uh, holding their own right now. Uh, that does not look, look like a good sign for 95, though. Let me just say. But for real, though, I guess it just kind of goes to show that you can put any ragtag assortment of towers on an easy map on an average game mode, and uh, they will be able to make it pretty far. You know, maybe dropping some of these glue gunners was a bad idea, because they take away from the AMD buff. It might throw it here, instead of the ninjas, where I kind of need them to for uh, DDT. So yeah, I think we'll just get rid of two. Let's go for another AMD over here. Gotta say, Concoction is really carrying us right now, deleting a lot of the uh, RBE from Giant Ceram Clumps. Nice. I got 35k to work with this round, so uh, I won't be too disappointed if this fails. Uh, I still have a lot of things I could do. But let's see, I'm pretty sure the DTs, or the mobs in the way, end up not allowing us to decamo some of the DTs. No, actually, they're all getting decamo, we just don't have enough DPS, right? What is it that we need, possibly? Probably some mob shredders. Yeah. It's not terribly far off, it seems. So yeah, we'll get rid of this village over here. To fit two more one three zero spacks. Oh, and also I guess get rid of these two farms here so I can fit a couple of more alchemists in like this. I guess I'll use the vacant farm space for more spacks and uh, let's do it again. Let's see, are these two extra spacks here make a difference? They have to have AMD on it, otherwise it's useless. But I think it's allowing us to pop some of them earlier, right? Yeah, let's move the uh, mortars back to uh, here, all over there. Three, two, one, did it. Nice. Easy. Now the true test will be if it can beat round 98. Now I haven't even dropped any NG since uh, I sold them last, but I feel like I should have dropped some two two zeros for uh, mob damage. I don't know, just kind of trying to think of anything that has like any amount of pierce to be able to do. Well, anything to dent sounds like 98 here. Let's see, one more two two zero here. Okay, okay. let's focus on mort mortaring the micros now. So back here. Uh, I think I'm leaking, I'm, le I'm leaking, I'm leaking. Target. Target again. Oh, uh, the glues are really nice, but there's just nothing to clean up back here. Let's see, I actually think it's better to put the, the snipers back in first, just because I'm popping all the uh, moabs at once, but I think we can probably clean up the uh, one-shot, like, cerams at this point. Let's see how it's doing. Uh, is it better? Concoction's kind of messing us up, I feel like. Yeah, this is definitely better, though. Uh, more micro, more micro. Come on. Also, I dropped this 2 0 monkey ace, and I got 4k pops. I think that also helped, but nice. We beat round 99, or 98. If we beat 99, remains to be seen. Um, But I feel like the spikes. Yes, Mob Shredder is carrying hard. Mob Shredder hard carry, folks. Nice. Any more, though, I think we would have been overwhelmed, but yeah. And with that, I think it's safe to say now that we beat 100 rounds with... Uh, Absolutely terrible upgrades that no one knows the upgrade names to, because, uh, like, whoever uses them. Not to mention, again, not even uh, using the Beast Anthers that I was technically allowed just for an end challenge. Nice. Unfortunately, though, all good things must come to an end. I think we'll be able to beat one or two, but the next couple rounds are, like, very, very, very dense, so... Uh, I have my doubts if we can barely beat, well, one fortified ZMG. Sheesh, that was close. Yeah, holy, there is no chance. Look at these mobs. They are just running by our tier 3 towers. That is so sad. Oof. Well, hope you had fun with that, and I uh, hope you memorize all these upgrades, because there will be a pop quiz on this very soon.